All right, pawn all hat narrows. You can lower the crown yourself, okay? So if the hat is too high, you can just lower the crown, okay? The salesman should do it, but most salesmen are pretty much inept at hat shops and stuff. They don't know what to do or you're buying it online or something. So yeah, this area right in here in the front is the perceived height of a hat. The whole height is right in the front here. Um, you could generally just lower that from, you know, like that, bring it down, and it's just sort of pushing down in this area. Do it upside down. And what I like to do is just tuck it into itself like this, watch. Right there. Neaten it up to a nice kind of a U shape. Upside down U or whatever, see? Look at it like that and see if it's working. From the side, you see it slams down. It used to be up there. Height before was somewhere up there. And that's where it is now, see? That's a big difference in, in the way it looks. You know, it's a difference between a low crown and a high crown for most people. So you got that right there. And then you want to get a high crown, bam. Lower it right in front. That's it. Now, if the hat is soft, you do it by yourself. You just tuck it in right there. Neaten it up so it's a pretty looking shape, you know, from all angles. If it's not symmetrical, go fix it. Then you could zap it with some steam and lock it in. And then like really zap it with a bunch of steam just there. Don't hit the brim. You can mess your brim up with steam alone. Um, don't mess around with steam on the brim. Don't even let it bounce off the brim if you don't know what you're doing. Um, even if you know what you're doing, you just don't do that. Keep the steam off the brim. Let it hit just this area. Soften it up. Do the thing with your hand. Lower it. Let go. Okay? And then if you want to zap it in, you know, more permanently, hit it at the end with hot steam. Just let it set hard and dry without touching it. And that's it. It'll pop back to that every single time. It'll just pop back. You blocked your hat. That's a permanent memory you just gave it. Alright? So remember, if you want to lower a hat, it's this area right here you're lowering. Okay, and you can't just lower that a lot. If you're lowering a lot, you're going to have to lower the back too. So what you do is you just lower the back a little. Same thing, you tuck it into itself. But you do it, you know, you know, in a more kind of a flatter type of a smile shape. And then you just lower it a little, see, slap it in. Then you have to hit here so you can make a bubble because you're going to need your head to get more deep depth. Normally, if you start lowering the back of the hat, it's going to hit you in the head and you're not going to have enough depth. Because of that, your head will hit the roof and actually sit, the hat will sit higher. It will look hotter. So unless you make the bubble in the middle, you see what you do is you make it, and then you get rid of it. You let it dry, and then you get rid of it. So the bubble only appears when your head's in there. It's there if you need it. Instead of the hat popping out like that, it pops out just where you need it, in the middle. So you make a bubble if you're lowering the back. Uh, don't bother lowering the middle part here. Just because you want a nice arc anyway. Lower in the front, lower in the back, highest in the middle. That's the way all hats generally are. So yeah, lower the crown right here. If your hat's soft, don't even use steam. Just lower it. Hit it with steam at the end to zap it in if you want. Just to lock it like it's a memory. Or if you don't want to lock that, you want to keep different shapes, don't hit it with steam. But if you want your hat always to be that lower shape, you want it to pop back to that shape no matter what you're doing. You got to steam it at the end to, to set it. So, that's it. Lowering your crown is really, really easy. But if you see a hat and you love everything about it, but the one thing is the crown is too high, you feel you're too short, lower the crown. It's not like a hard thing to do. It's not like, ah, Kevin says it, but you can't do it. You can do it. It's easy. Um... I can do it for you for free. You could mail your hat to me or walk in, you know, as soon as we're done with the COVID tragedy and we reopen. Um, I will also reshape your hat, block it, shape it, western or fedora for free for life, no matter who you are, if you are a customer or not. Um, that's our policy. We basically do it as a walk-in. Um, as far as you mailing it in, that could be something you could do later on when, um, when we reopen and everything. Um, Generally, it's a walk-in thing, but you can mail a hat in just for reshaping and you know, to be cleaned up and stuff. We don't clean straws. We don't clean stains. We just can't do it. Um, 
could just do very light cleaning, but we stiffen it and get the hat really nice and shape and everything, basically. Get the snap back and everything. Stretch it, whatever you need. And I won't charge you a penny. The only thing you need to do is just pay to get the thing shipped back to you, which is fifteen fifty. Um, that's UPS. It's good UPS ground shipping, you know, like insured. Plus, it comes in an actual JJ Hat Center box, hat box, and that comes double boxed in a corrugated carton and stuff. So the hat box alone they sell for fifteen dollars. Um, you're getting that. There's, it's almost like free shipping. Labor is free. Everything's free. You're getting a fifteen dollar hat box, and you're paying fifteen dollars shipping. So. It's a really good deal. We do that basically just so people discover the shop. They come in, they find us, and just to be cool because nobody else does it. So instead of charging 20 or 30 or 40 a pop, we do it free and people are like, wow, this place rules. Let me spend that 40 bucks on a hat. Oh, they're not 40. No, they're 100. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's better. We, we provide a free service and um, it keeps people coming back. There's some people who never buy. They just bring in a dozen hats for me to steam. Whatever, you know. That's uh, part of the game. But uh, some of them are very nice people. Some of them give me tips, too. You know, I've gotten wild tips, all sorts of things, from packs of socks to, like, uh, books. Uh, Dickie Betts invited me uh, to watch the Allman Brothers on the, on the stage at the Beacon Theater. There's a tip there. Um, one guy... Uh, Steve gave me this amazing bag of chocolate, Cadbury chocolate, and like a Star Wars cup for my son, and all this cool stuff. Uh, it was amazing. It was like a big chocolate goodie bag, because he knows I like chocolate. Um, no nuts. I like milk chocolate. Um, that's just my thing. Since this COVID thing, I've been ordering these huge boxes of chocolate from Amazon. Uh, there's these 10 tablet bars of Godiva milk chocolate, they're like 40 bucks. I think I got like four or five of those boxes, polished them off, and I switched to milk chocolate Dove bars, which are like $33 for a huge box of them. And I went through, I think, three boxes of those, Girardelli, big gold bags, I went through two or three of those. I'm crazy. Um, I love my chocolate. But anyway. <laughs> Jimmy Hatson, to get it, 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 get it